Alrighty, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Another unboxing. We've got we've we've done so many of these. And eventually we're just gonna hit a point where there's no more to open and it's gonna be very depressing. But today we've got just a couple of things to open. I've got two packages from eBay. Um obviously the last few have been massive ones. And now we're gonna kind of tone them down a bit. But I do, I do have a big game haul. Um, this is a birthday game haul, so this is all birthday money. Two magazines, and I've got stuff to show you. So, we'll move these out of the way first. We'll get on to these last. Uh, and I suppose we'll do these quick. Um, I don't know if you guys have these wherever you're watching. In the UK, PC Gamer and Play, which is the PlayStation one. Um, I buy these from Tesco. Uh, I don't believe... There's an Xbox one. But, you know, they talk about, like, games. Sometimes they're old games. Sometimes they're new games. You know, they're not extortionate. And PC Gamer, I obviously started buying because I am a PC Gamer now. So, I can feel like I'm actually involved in that kind of stuff. Also, one thing I'd like to show. I now have a PS Vita. My girlfriend got me this for my birthday. So, I'm now a Vita owner, which is great. Because you guys know I've been wanting a Vita for a while. And also, just something that I've just been brought home is a Fallout 76 like jacket, which is quite cool. I like this. Fallout 76, the official vault of the Tricentennial. It's awesome. I love that. Very cool. So, let's open these packages first, shall we? So, we've only got two. They only feel like they got one in. They should be games. What have we got first? We've got Advanced Warfare on the PC. Now, does this have a fucking stupid bullshit code? Yes, it does. That's fantastic. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to be pissed off. This has so many discs in it. Oh my god, you can't see that. Sorry the lighting's bad, by the way, but if I turn the light off, it gets very dark. So we need the light. There is like five or six discs in that. That's Advanced Warfare. Um, I did buy that the other day on something else, so that might be a little bit of a waste. And in our second one, we've got Ghost Recon. Just Ghost Recon on its own for the PC. No code, please. No code, please. Oh, no code. Nice. So yeah, that's cool. But obviously, we're going back and getting some of the older games that we like. And Ghost Recons are a game that mean a lot to me. That was some of the first shooters I ever played. So we like them. All right. Now we get on to the games, the halls of the games. I suppose seeing as we're doing PC first, we'll uh, I don't want to ruin them. We'll get on to them and then we'll just go down in order of what they're on. So we've got COD 4 for the PC. Uh, unfortunately, this is it has a code on it, so I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work. I hope it works. But COD 4, um, mainly got that for mods. Um, I want to do some mod videos and obviously once the uh, we we're finishing off the Gears of War playthrough the series um, we're on four uh, I've got five all done and recorded it's just got to be edited and uploaded um, and then we've got to do tactics Ta tactics Jesus. Uh, and then there's Halo but after Halo I want to play through the entire Call of Duty franchise so, now we've got loads of different options. I mean, I've got everything on most consoles now. Right, let's do these first, and then we'll, we will go down in order. So, uh, we've got Medal of Honor Heroes for the PSP. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the PSP works with shooty games. Uh, it doesn't have analog sticks, so I'm not going to be... Uh, hopeful, but it was two pound fifty, so 
you know, it, it's not like a big loss. Um, I've still yet to use my PSP. It's actually on charge now. Because to use my Vita, I need a, an SD card, which I don't have at the moment. So that's not annoying at all. Let's put these down like that. And the second and final PSP game we've got here is Battlefront 2. So I now have this on the original Xbox and now the PSP. I didn't even know it was a PSP thing, but that's quite cool. It is just the, I don't know what you call them, the disc. Oh, you'll know Battlefront 2. <clears throat> I love Battlefront 2. And now these ones I am excited for. So, Killzone Mercenary on the PS Vita. Uh, all of the games here I've paid for have cost me £15. Um, Vita games are expensive. Like, I've looked online. So expensive. And like, I've looked on the store. And I, I'm not paying what they want on the store. Sorry. But it's not happening. But yeah, I do love the Killzone franchise. That'll be one that we do play through at some point. Um, there's another one. There's another Killzone game, but I can't remember what it's called. I don't think it's this one. But regardless, we've got that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record Vita games. But I'm definitely going to play through them. Secondly is Uncharted Golden Abyss. If you'll focus. Please. There we go. Golden Abyss. Uh, I didn't even know this was a thing until I did some research. So, I don't know if this is good or bad. Again, £15. So, and finally, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Again, £15. So, um, I don't know if Vita Games, uh, if that's good for them or not. I'm not sure. Can you focus, please? Well, uh, kind of. But yeah, 15 for all of them. It's not the end of the world. Um, and they're there then. Uh, there were some cheap ones, but I just didn't get around to them. So, in terms of PlayStation, we've only got one Dishonored 2 for the PS4. I'm not sure if I own this. I know I've got Dishonored 1 on every console on the planet now. But I'm not 100% sure if I had it on PS4. And this is 2. So I don't know if I own 2 or not. I hope not. But if I didn't, it only cost me £3. So it's not the end of the world. Um, obviously Dishonored is something that we are going to play through at some point. Um, just going to get around to it first. And I've actually bought two PS3 games. So we've got Wet. Now, I never played this. I think I did around a friend's house once. But I never like played it and paid attention. Um, but I think a lot of people said it was cool. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. I don't know. We'll give it a go. Um, I would like to try and set it up so that I can record my PS3. Uh, we'll have to try at some point. And Fear 2. It was really cheap considering. Fear 2 is like the one that's the hardest to get for me. When I want to get it for like the Xbox, it was so expensive on eBay. Uh, the, the disc, the, the case does have a hole in it, but it's not the end of the world. Um, you can't really see it, and it's obviously going to be on a shelf. So, that's that. Um, I did have three copies of Fear for the PC. All of the codes on them don't work, so that's kind of pissed me off. Um, but, I can buy the entire Fear franchise and all the DLC on Steam for £35. So, I think next payday I will do that, and then we will play through the Fears, because I really, really want to. Really want to play through them. I just obviously haven't got around to it yet. So that's definitely the plan forward. We've got three Xbox One games. We've got Rise, Son of Rome. There you go. That cost me £3. These have all come from CEX, by the way. Obviously, apart from the two. I love CEX. I so recommend it. Like, I am the reason CEX is still going in my area. <laughs> I spent so much money in there. But yeah, this looks quite cool. Fight as a soldier, lead as a general, rise as a legend. So I've not watched any gameplay on it. It was cheap. I thought I'd give it a go. If it's terrible, it's terrible is what it is. Quantum Break. Uh, it's not going to focus on the side, is it? No. Um, another one that uh, I've never 
played or seen or watched. But again, a three pound if it's terrible. It's not like I've just spent you know sixty pound on a full triple A game that I can be annoyed at. It doesn't really bother me. And finally, Lego Worlds. Um, I have no idea what this one is. I've never played this one either. Um, obviously, I like my Lego games. Me and Caitlin both like our Lego games. My girlfriend. So we might play through this at some point. That one was six pound. And finally, we've got four Xbox 360 games. So yeah, okay. I didn't even realise I'd bought that one. So we've got Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, I need to go back and replay this. I never finished this one. I have played it. Uh, I can't remember how far I got. I didn't get very far. Um, and I keep seeing a lot of videos about this being like really underrated. Um, I do have this for the PS3, but it's a lot easier for me to record Xbox stuff. And I'm not sure if this is like backwards compatible on the Series X. So we'll see. If it's not, I can always my Xbox 360 is basically set up. So we can get around to that. I've got called Ghost. Um, again, I'm not paying thirty plus pound for this on PS4. I don't know why it's so expensive on like the last gen ones, whereas like getting it on 360 is two pound. It's ridiculous. Again, I bought that because I want to play through the franchise. Um, I think the Ghost campaign was pretty meh. Well, I think that's pretty universal in it, but. We, I want to play for. I've got to play through the entire franchise, so we've got to get around to that at some point. Next one is Hunted, the Demon's Forge. Never ever heard of this in my life. I've not even seen like seen it come up. A dungeon crawl for the Gears Age. Hunted is a fantasy action game that delivers a fresh take on the classic dungeon crawl. Two pound. It's probably awful at that price, to be honest. But we will see. And finally, Lego movie video game. So more Lego games. Um, never played the Lego movie. I think I watched the first one. Um, I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. We will see. Um, yeah, I'm built. I think I own. I think I need to get the Lego movie two, and the Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, and Lord of the Rings. And the Marvel Lego games I'm not going to get because all of those films really don't interest me. I don't care for for them. But I'm pretty sure if I get the Lego Movie 2 game, I think there's a second one. That's all of the Lego games that we've got. But yeah, a pretty decent haul, all things considered. I'm happy with this. So yeah. There we go. So yeah, there you guys go. That's my birthday officially over and done with. I'm happy with that. I just need to find space to put everything now. Because I have no space for nothing. So, yeah. Keep an eye out on the channel. Like I said, we are still doing Gears of War playthroughs on top of Minecraft. Um, the Lost Legacy, the Uncharted Lost Legacy series is recorded and finished. That just needs to be uploaded. Um, Warhammer. I'm going to play through I'm going to... That's what I'm about to play through now, once this is done. But yeah, there's a lot going on. On top of Gears of War, on top of the Siege videos that we're doing, on top of things, on top of these unboxings. You know, we're doing a lot. So, yeah, it's a good time. Alright, I'm chucking this at the end of another video, because I've had a few things show up today. Um, it's actually been about two or three weeks since I've actually recorded one of these sit-downs, but I haven't edited any of them yet, so I can't be asked. But I've had two show up today, and I wanted to open them quick. This is what I believe it is. It is. It's, ooh. Lego Star Wars on the PS Vita. So, oh, it's actually, I still get surprised by just how small Vita cases are. Like, <laughs> they're so small. I mean, I'm a size 10, hand, uh, size 8 hand. So small. Yep, so that's Force Awakens on another console, you know, because I needed another one, right? I want to play stuff on my video, alright? Fuck off. And this one. This will be a big one. I need to put you down quick. Oh! -ho. Da -da -da. So I have no idea actually if this even is a thing. I just want to show my address off. Put 
you down again. It's a bit pointless setting the tripod up for this, isn't it, really? Right. Nice. Defiance. That looks fucking sick. <laughs> Where's the... Which bit's meant to be the opening part, then? Maybe I should have set the tripod up. But anyway, it's a collector's edition for Defiance for the PS3. Now, I did actually play Defiance on the PS3 when it was... Uh, first out, when it ever came out. You know, it was something I was really excited to do. Stuff falling all over the place. Greetings, Ark Hunter. Thanks, Carl Von Back. Um, so what's actually in here then? Some kind of creepy alien thing that looks like it's out of Stranger Things. I can't really take it out of there. I think that's one of the enemies you, you fight. Oh, an art book. Very nice. A music thing. And Defiance. And it's sealed. Woo! Wow. That's crazy. And that is everything in that very dark box. Yeah. So, collector's edition. Special edition. I don't really know what it was classed as, but... Yeah. That is that. So that will get chucked in at the end. But yeah. Stuff to add to the collection. I'm actually going to do like a big uh, game collection thing. Um, next month when I get all my stuff set up. I've got to, uh, I've got to get some shelving, um, so next payday we're going to Ikea to get some shelving. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, we'll probably chop back to the end of another one, so yeah, cool. So if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments if there's anything here that I should be really excited for. I am now going to go and take 15 years peeling all these fucking stickers off that will definitely rip halfway through and leave all that sticky shit underneath. Yeah, pray for me. This is a fun time. Yeah, it's been your boy. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.